Hi guys, and welcome to my channel, Parsetta Studio. Today we are going to be making the granny square. With these squares, you can make sweaters, purses, I mean, whatever you want. So if you're ready, just keep watching. You ready, Rico? Estamos listos. Let's start by making a magic ring. Chain one to secure the ring. And then I chain three, one, two, three. Next, we need to make 15 double crochet. The first three chains count as a double crochet. Once you're done, let's count the pose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And close the magic ring. To change colors, insert your hook on the second chain, grab your new color. Pass it through both loops and chain one. And this is how I secure my colors. I just make a nut and then I will weave in the tails. Row number two is the bean stitch. I'm gonna yarn over two times, yarn over three times, pass through all seven loops. And chain one. Let's do it again. Yarn over one time, yarn over two times, yarn over three times, pass it through all seven loops one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go through all seven and chain one. I don't really go in the chain and go in between posts where the big space is. Yarn over once, yarn over twice, yarn over three times. Go through all seven loops, chain one. We are now at the end, slip stitch on the first chain, slip stitch again on the next chain. Now make, let's make sure that we have 16 bean stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Grab your new color, pass it through the loops, secure them, chain three. For round three, we're going to make three double crochet together. In the first three chains, count as a double crochet. All right, so yarn over. Act like you're gonna make a double crochet, but don't finish it. Yarn over. This is going to be your second double crochet. Don't finish it. Yarn over. Third double crochet. So you have three poles. One, two, and three. Four loops on your hook. Go through all of them. Chain one. Again, yarn over, act like you're going to do a double crochet, go through two of them, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. You have four loops on your hook, go through all four and chain one. 
we're going to make 16 of those. Chain three. Make two double crochet. Now here we're gonna have a cluster of three double crochet. The first three chains counts as your first double crochet. And now we're going to work on the corner. For the corner, we're gonna do the treble crochet which means is that you're going to yarn over twice go through two go through two go through two let's do it again we need three of those go through two go through two go through two mm -hmm. Chain two. So now we have three treble crochet. We chain two and we do it all over again. Three treble crochet. Yarn over twice, go through two, go through two, and go through two. The chain two is going to help us make the corner, the shape of the corner. change colors and chain three one two and three Let's make two double crochet for a total of three again the three chain count as a double crochet in the next space we're going to do another cluster of three double crochet and then we're going to work the corner the corner we're going to do three double crochet another cluster three chain two and three double crochet all in the same space one two In three that's your first corner now we're going to do four clusters of three double crochet in the next four spaces Double crochet, last cluster, a junior arm, and your granny square is officially done.
So today we learned how to make this type of granny square. You can make so many things with it. You can make shirts, uh, hats, purses, sweaters, anything like that. This is another granny square I'm working on. And look, this is like a little sumo shirt that I made. Put it on, you tie in the back. So much stuff you can do. See you in the next video.